Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's Arena Time. Well, the Arena, in its wisdom, has decided to give me all classes I've played really recently, but uh, Paladin was the least recent of them, I guess. So, Paladin. And, as usual, we're going to take the Servant of Kalmos, because, goddammit, elementals are cool. Now, they're actually trying to give me chain dragon stuff and make me wish I'd taken dragons. Uh, I didn't want to take any of that dragon crap. It's very early on yet. Um, here, you can go elementals or dragons. Either way, it might work. Uh, True Silver Champion is a pretty good card. Evolved Kobold could be good if I knew I was going to get more spells, but I often don't, especially with Paladins, so. I've already got a weapon. Do I want the Rallying Blade, which I just consider to be... I was going to say a bad Flaming War Axe, or, but the War Axe actually got worsened, so it's now a bad Rallying Blade. Hmm. Because uh, the, the Divine Shield bonuses. I don't consider it very useful, especially in the arena. Um, do I take this, or do I take a minion that would benefit from this? You know, weapons are usually harder to come by. Let's take the Rallying Blade. Oh, you're going to make me choose between the Defender and the Protector? You dicks. i got to take the Protector. Not taking that Defender hurts me so bad, though, because they're, like, amazing. And they're way better than, like, this whole row. Uh, Silver Moon Portal's okay. Mastodon or Bone Mare? That's another tough choice. I'm going to choose the Bone Mare because as a Paladin, it's way it has way less drawback. The drawback is, of course, you need to have a minion out there for it to be any good. As a Paladin or a Shaman, there's no way that you can't play this for 9 mana and at least make a 5-5 five, five taunt to go with it. Excuse me. Um, do I want a Moat Lurker? I'm not going to have any way to silence it. Steward of Darkshire is like, meh. I mean, I guess it co combos with the Rallying Blade. The Gravedigger is pretty friendly. Let's, let's take the Steward of Darkshire. Try and get the Rallying Blade thing going, because why not? Brewmaster is very good, but I'm going to take the Outfitter. I'm pretty fond of outfitting. Blackguard. I could get him and try and get some healing. I don't think that he's li his ability is likely to come up. He's usually just going to be a 3-9 for 6. Which, man, those are some weird stats and not in a bad way. But I think I'd rather take the Arcane Giant. Now, I have to have at least two spells in my deck or I'm not going to and cast two, at least two spells or I won't be able to play him. And I don't have them yet. So maybe the Arcane Giant's not a good idea. See, I just look at it and like, oh... Arcane Giant. He's one of the giants I like, but actually, I'm a third of the way through my deck and have one spell. I don't really want to be pr have that changing the priorities of things just so I can get that. He's not, based on what I've seen so far, he's not likely that he's coming out cheap, so I'm actually just going to take the stupid black card. It's probably a bad choice. So I don't want to be incentivized to take crap like that. Uh, I guess we're going to be super heavy on the weapons, because I don't really want the Lord of the Arena. Dark Conviction is such an interesting card. Because it lets me make a it lets me make a really crap minion, a moderate grade minion, or it lets me take an enemy super minion and turn it into a little tiny three three. But would I rather just have the bluegill sniper to shoot something? It's less flexible, but it's also a minion in its own right. It benefits from yeah, you know what, I think I'd rather just take the sniper. Probably a bad move, but eh. The stupid phone. When it takes the other side a long time to answer, and then the first thing they hear is, Hello, call center, what's up? Sometimes they do actually just give up and hang up on me. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty fond of Noble Sacrifice. And the protection is actually a good spell. I just biased against it because there's a minion that generates that spell, and that minion is, like, infinitely better. But, of course, that minion is not actually in rotation right now anymore, I guess. So. Kind of annoying. Uh, Noble Sacrifice is pretty good. Let's, let's just take the Noble Sacrifice. Uh, we gotta take the Bog Creeper. Bog Creepers are amazing. Even though I need Elementals for the other thing. I forgot I'm looking for Elementals, but hopefully I'll get some... Not this. End of Turn Effects Trigger twice. This is so hard to make good use of in the arena. Like, it's a cool card, but in the arena? How many End of Turn things are you gonna get? There are some extra ones in the set, but, like, it's unlikely. I don't have any now, so that doesn't make any sense. I guess we'll just take the Ooze... Pulling up a weapon is good if it happens. I just don't like to count on that. We're going to take the 
piece of crap Backstreet Leper because I don't know. If I get it with the uh, with the Steward of Darkshire, then it's like a combo, kind of. Or I could just take under protection and save one of my guys. Man, I really don't like you. I'm gonna take him anyway, though. Could have taken the other guy for Murlockness. Okay, I'm taking this piece of crap for Element. I, I just remembered I have a bunch of weapons. He still, I would have taken the Bog Creeper anyway because it's amazing. But I have three weapons in here, which means his ability might ever come up. And he's an elemental that's going to trigger my guy. So he's not a horrible choice, actually, for this deck. The 1-4 weapon for 4 that gets plus 1 attack whenever a friendly minion loses Divine Shield. I hate you, you're a piece of crap. These things are also not good, though. This is so bad that I, even though I have the Steward of Darkshire and I have an elemental that combos off like my weapons in some fashion, I don't think this is of any value. But these two are also worthless. It's just if I draw this, I'm going to not even play it, probably. I think I end up taking the Tunneler out of this crap. It might, tunneler might get a bubble from the Steward of Darkshire. This is a 1-3 for 5. I'm not going to have any abilities that work off that. Plus, if I take this, like, if I don't take this, you know I'm going to get, like, there's a better chance of me getting Light Naros, <laughs> just because he would actually have an effect that would work off that. I'm going to take the stupid Weasel Tunneler, because that's how much disdain I have for those other cards. Um, I don't have any stuff that just comes into play and kills something. He does, and if I happen to have the Steward of Darkshire, he's actually pretty good. Fine Cleaver is a good weapon, but I already have three weapons, and I don't have Stonefield Def Stonehill Defenders, which are amazing. I want another Noble Sacrifice. I think I'd rather have the Pompous Thespian. I w I'd rather have things that count as minions, in case I get the hand buffing. Uh, I'd rather have a Squirming Tentacle than this guy. I've seen him. He can actually do much better stuff than I gave him credit for previously, but whatever. Tentacle's reliable. Doesn't require as much work. We'll take another Bone Mirror, though. I'm fine with Bone Mirrors. Lots of bone mares. Uh, this is not as good. Let's just take the Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper is good. Wow, you're really testing me. The Phantom Freebooter gains stats equal to my weapons. So there's a reasonable chance that he's going to come out and be like a 4-1 or... Or like a... Sorry, have plus 4, plus 1 or something. Or he could actually be a decent size. The Bomb Squad's a little unreliable. This thing... I mostly have... Battle cry stuff, so it's not going to be as good for me. I don't have that many death rattles or bub or divine shields. Let's just take the stupid phantom freebooter, who I normally never use, but I've got the stuff for it here. I don't have so many weapons that I'm desperate enough to play Blackwater Pirate. Let's take the Grim Street Enforcer, because you never know. Sometimes he goes Super Saiyan, or rather, makes the rest of your team go Super Saiyan. This makes him more like Dende. Anyway. Uh, Twisted Worgen would work with... I, I, I don't want to go too far into taking things that work with the one copy of Steward of Darkshire that I have. But he would work well with it. Do I really need Psychotron? My casting cost curve is pretty heavy into the threes, so I'm not too worried about the early game. I maybe need more late game stuff. Like, I got hardly any elementals, so he's not going to be good. Which sucks, because he's amazing, but not going to help me out much. I could have a lot of minions from my Paladin-ness to get this thing, but having him come out bigger than 4-4 four, four is actually still a pain in the ass. I mean, it counts, your, it counts enemy minions that died too, but like, eh, I just don't see this as being a good card. I'd much rather pay one more and get the, the guy who's a 4-4 four, four, plus 1 plus 1 for each of my other minions. Like, that guy's a thousand times better for common. Do I want a Tristan Worgen for the early game, or... Or this for a later game, even though it's not the best. I'm going to take this. Why not? Stop giving me desperate stands. You know what? I've got a bunch of Steward of Darkshire stuff. Let's actually go with it. Loot Hoarder might actually be a better choice, but I'm going to take the Consecrate because it's a Consecrate. Um, sure. Let's go all in on this stuff. Since I took the stupid Historian, but I'm not taking one dragon. Just I'm only going to have the one dragon, right? take anything else that counts as a dragon so I'm not I'm just gonna let I'm just gonna know that she's not gonna work and not have that stupid doubt and I'm just gonna take Grime Street Enforcer because he's actually cool all right well this is gonna be an interesting one I don't like counting on Steward of Darkshire for stuff and I'm not, I didn't find that I liked her in Constructed even when I could choose all the cards but on the other hand 
your enemy's deck is much better when you're playing constructed. Whereas this is the arena, so there's I feel like there's more chance that the swing you get if you start getting her bubbles going could actually make a difference in your favor. We do not need Sterling Hand Bone Mirror. Or Consecration. Rallying Bay Blade, probably. I'm tempted to pitch the Weasel Tunneler because he's such a piece of crap. Like, I don't need him. But I don't want to draw him later either, so. Might as well pollute my opponent's deck with him. This is a slow hand. Like, this deck has a lot of three and under stuff. Wow, that's not helping. Suck Weasel. Yes, this was a bad row. Better have three less hit points whatever you're playing so I can coin this out and kill it. Ta-da! Nope, didn't get anything better. These two both have amazing abilities that I have no use for because I didn't get the cards I needed for them. Whatever, this just paid for itself, basically. If it kills anything else, then it's awesome. And now my opponent's staring down that stupid weapon that's really annoying this early in the game. Because you want to play stuff, but you know what you play is going to die if it's got three or less hit points. Wow, that's worth killing. Dude, you know how to draw out my thing. Good job. Uh, play. I can play you later. I'm better off just making a 1-1. One -one. Seriously. I am going to kill this because I don't want... You maybe should have saved it for one turn, and you could have played it and then shot me, and that would have froze me, and then you could have just kept me freeze locked. But whatever. Oh, uh, that guy's bad news. Do I want to hit him for one and then consecrate? That's really expensive for me. I don't know how this interacts with Enrage. I have a suspicion that it would not interact the way I would want it to. I don't think it's worth shooting that guy and consecrating. I really don't. If you hit one of my guys to buff them, that's fine. If you want to waste your mana buffing him at this stage of the game, probably fine. He will die to a consecrate either way. So I might as well put out more little garbage now that I might be able to do stuff with. Like hell, if you if you weaken him, the other two can kill him. So you have actually got to spend effort killing them. Fine. Well, I'm a little worried about that secret. I'm concerned this doesn't work on him. That's what I'm worried about. Let's see what happens when I attack you? No. I don't want to play this because I don't have a good way to kill. Like if that's a, a mirror entity or the like the duplicating thing. Actually, this is really bad no matter what. It's probably gonna frozen clone this, and my opponent's gonna start discovering things. But I gotta Brothers. play him anyway. God damn it. Mirror entity. Okay, that's in his case. That's actually not as bad as the frozen clone. For him, it, it's terrible either way. Okay. This is fine. Just... You gonna buff him somehow, or are you gonna bounce him? Because my plan is hit him for four damage and then kill them both with consecrate. That would be my plan. Getting him out would be awesome. Oh god damn it! Better not be a counter spell. Then I'll be in trouble. I don't have enough mana to do both this and this, unfortunately. If I could do this first, I'd love to, but... Damn it! That is really bad. My opponent just had, like, the right secret for the time there. Apparently she has unlimited secrets. No, that, that counter spell is probably the game. Copying this guy was unpleasant, but it was dealt with. Now with the counterspell, I'm actually boned. This actually is this is a total waste of this guy, but it actually gives me more stuff than this because I can use his bubble to kill that and it, to kill one of those, and it's just as good as well as giving me a taunt. Probably Mirror Entity again, or is now is the Frozen Clone. Either way, it's terrible. Yeah. Wow. 
No, that you your secrets are way too strong for me. Bite me. Maybe that's greedy. I should have just attacked the guy without the without the bubble, but I don't know. It, it so doesn't matter. This person's deck was just like a thousand times better for no reason. So that's a loss I couldn't have done much about. That was ridiculous. Let's see if I can get a better starting hand next time. If you like this, please click the eponymous button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonet Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.